So I've had a lot of thought about this game after witnessing what was the just disastrous, embarrassing, flat out disgusting finale to Monday Night Football, the way that game ended. And I've had a lot of time to think about this, seeing how our opponent on one o'clock Sunday on Fox in New Orleans, the New Orleans Saints, how they have fared against possibly the worst team in the NFL, uh, Carolina Panthers. And at the time, still even now, what we thought to be a pretty solid team, one that would be competing in the playoffs, the Dallas Cowboys. And they're averaging 45 and a half points a game after two weeks, which, yeah, it's just after two weeks, but that is flat out un unworldly. I came and I came and put it into words how insane that number is. It's just insane. And now we're the Philadelphia Eagles with our lack of a pass rush, um our many, many, many issues when it comes to the identity of our team from the coaching standpoint. I just you ask me up front, like, will the Eagles beat the the Saints? I don't know. And we've also not fared very well against the Saints, even when we were good. Going back to 2018, I know that year was kind of an off year, but we still made a playoff run, right? Well, the 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 playoff run started when we got blown out 48 to seven in New Orleans in early November. And I thought the season was done because Carson Wentz was horrible. And then it wasn't because Nick Foles came in and lit another spark under this team and made a run for the playoffs like no other. And after the double doink, we went right back to New Orleans and took a commanding 14 to nothing lead after intercepting Drew Brees on his first pass of the game. And then we failed to do anything after that. And just when you think we might have a chance and we're driving down the field... Alshon Jeffrey lets a ball slip right through his hands and into the hands of Marshawn Lattimore, and the Eagles lose in New Orleans. That wasn't the last time we played them. Going back to 2022, I believe we played them in 2021. Yeah, we played them in 2020 and we beat them. And then in 2021, again, I believe we beat them. We played them a lot. Like, have we, have we not talked about how much we play the New Orleans Saints? Like, how often we line up with them? Um... But, but Jalen Hurts has done good against them. 2020, I remember that was his first career start, and we won that game. It was a huge upset. And then in 2021, it was like a really must-win game for us making the playoffs, and we blew them out the water. But then in 2022, uh, Hurts was hurt with the shoulder injury after he got in Chicago, and Gardner Minshew was playing that game, and he lost us the game on a game-winning, on a game-losing interception that really you watch it, it's like, dang, dude that close and we could have come back and won that game and now these two teams are completely different two years later Derek Carr is at the 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 quarterback but you still got guys like Alvin Kamara and they're utilizing these players so well right now they're using Derek Carr and everybody on that offense like it, it's crazy like I'm, I'm terrified of Alvin Kamara I'm terrified of Chris Olave I know as good as Derek Carr is he has a tendency of overshooting his receivers. He's got a cannon of an arm. Sometimes he puts a little bit too much mustard on, on it. But I can't just think to myself right now that with the, with where the defense is, that they're going to win this game. I, I can't. I don't think I could genuinely say that. And I hate to say that. Normally, I'm an optimistic fan, and I'm always trying to push for the for the for the bright side and say, "Oh, well, the offense will carry us to, uh, to the win." Well. Unless if the offense shows me some more creativity, I don't even know if that's going to happen. And what's freaking crazy is that the offense isn't even the problem, despite us saying that there are issues with the offense. Jalen Hurts' his turnovers. Listen, he has more passing yards than certain uh, quarterbacks in the league that are 2-0. and He has more touchdowns than them, them as well. The interceptions, yes, yeah, sure, you could, you could do without those, of course. Of course, you don't want to be throwing interceptions. But let me just tell you this. We are 50, we are sixth best team when it comes to scoring drives. 50% of our scoring drives we have scored on in the first two weeks. That is the sixth, the best in the entire NFL. And at this stage right now, that should be enough 
to give your defense a cushion to win. And every cushion that we've been giving them since de since December has not worked out. And I I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that this team right now has it in them as much as I want to say. And I could see them winning this game. I really could. But they, everything has to come together. They have to make changes. And that's my thing. Until I see those changes be made, I cannot confidently say that they will win this game. And that's why I'm not picking them to win this game. I, ha I don't have it in me at this moment. This defense is that bad. There's no pass rush. We are missing Hassan Reddick so much more than anybody would have ever thought. Jordan Davis, Nolan Smith, Jalen Carter, none of these guys were ready to take on the load that Fletcher Cox and Hassan Reddick left us. Brandon Graham can only do so much on the outside, and he's done enough. He gets most of the push on any pass rush that we have, and there's nothing there outside of Brandon Graham. That's a problem. So, I don't know. I'm going to need to see Bryce Huff, and I'm going to need to see Nolan Smith and N'Kobe Dean and Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter. I need to see all of those young talent that we are investing so much in to say that these guys are our future. I need to see them step up because the linebackers are put on islands when there's no pass rush. And then the safeties have to fend for themselves. And the secondary in general is just by themselves. If they can, And they can't do anything if there's no pass rush to help shut down the play. They can only do so much. And our best safety and our, our best secondary player right now is Quinion Mitchell, the rookie. I bet you've got Keely Ringo in there too. He'd probably be doing better than Slay. And I love Slay. But I cannot get over seeing him let that touchdown go last week. It was disgusting to see. It was horrible. And that's where I'm at right now with this defense. And at the end of the day, 37 to 27 Saints. I could see that being a, 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 my, my, my final prediction. I can also see the Eagles winning 28 to 24 if the defense shows up. But I'm going to stick with the former and say that the Eagles are going to lose because I don't have confidence in Vic Fangio's defense right now after what I saw against the Falcons. Let me know what your thoughts are. That's my take on it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to talk a little bit about some other matchups that I'm really looking forward to, like the Ravens-Cowboys game. Really excited to see how that one goes. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Fly goes fly. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.